Did you see where um, Diddy's former bodyguard says that he believes that Jay Prince was initially behind all of this stuff for Diddy lawsuits and stuff coming to a head? Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Tell y'all, man. I told y'all I'm going to start it. <laughs> I just did an episode <laughs> recently, you know, probably aired a day or two before, where I just talked about how people just set up and make up stuff <laughs> and, go, <laughs> and go viral, throw people names in there and just be unfortunate and go viral. I don't know what the riff is between Diddy and Jay Prince and the Houston stuff. I guess they're getting it just because the attorney came from Houston. I try to tell y'all that this particular attorney just take on cases like that because he, you know, did the Deshaun Watson stuff. Uh, I'm also hearing, though, lately, and I'm kind of worried about your boy, y'all hero, Gene Deal. I'm hearing a lot of stuff from the 90s is starting to come out. And if he was around as much as he said in the 90s, early 2000s, initially, people were just talking about 2008 and stuff. But all these victims now are starting to talk about 90s and 2000s. So these bodyguards better shut the fuck up. They not clean like Reggie Wright. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Reggie Wright shit is an open book. I ain't seen though. We ain't have no weird shit like that going on around us. I wouldn't have known about no pills or no 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 special oil in the baby oil and stuff like that, you know? People been talking about that lately. See how people lately been talking about on the interview how there was some uh I think it was some horse uh what they call it, some some uh the stuff that they put a horse and make down. Some type of heart tranquilizer that's put in, in, in no ba no baby oil bottles. Y'all think it was just baby oil, y'all? Are y'all that stupid? Do y'all know there's more shit in those, those bottles of oils? That was just a cover-up. Y'all don't realize that there was other stuff in those bottles that made people either go to sleep or or, or get freaky or get horny or something, something in those bottles that's getting tested? It's not illegal to have baby oil in your house. Why the hell would the police take baby oil? What's illegal about some baby oil? Are y'all that stupid? The shit that's mixed in that baby oil or in no baby oil bottles. That's how concerned, y'all. Come on, y'all. And these bodyguards keep talking about it. They better shut up. They better shut up. Y'all need to go in there and tell them. Stop. But no, Jay Prince ain't had nothing. <laughs> Jay Prince ain't had nothing to do with this shit. Jay, Jay, Jay Prince not a rat, yo. Uh, I don't know. We talk about executives. Somebody asked me in the comment section what what a uh, black executive it appears that don't do anything weird. Only person I could think of was. Babyface, <laughs> LA, maybe L.A. Reid. You haven't heard too much about him. Uh, and, and, uh, Babyface. You know, they might have, you know, some people will say they beat him out with some money and stuff like that. But I don't put, I don't think Jay Prince is snitch. I'm not one to do all of that of uh, what uh, Suge and maybe even WAC 100 have said about Jay Prince. He seemed to be solid to me. Uh, he talk a little tougher than what, you know, he might be, but that we all do. Y'all say that about me, but, cause I know I'm, I'm the nicest guy in the motherfucking world. I just get a bad rap by y'all. And I just play into that rap. But I love how Suge Knight's turning out to be the most normal one. <laughs> the most normal one out of all these motherfuckers that y'all use. I remember Kathy Scott. He, when we used to, I used to tell her what, you know, what I believed and all of that about the stuff. Oh, Puffy's a choir boy. 
He wouldn't do nothing like that. He, he, he's one of the nicest guys you're going to ever meet in entertainment. The guy you with is the bad guy. No, the guy I would just do what he do and don't hide it. So motherfuckers that do shit behind the scenes that you got to worry about. 2024, that goddamn Cat Williams, what do you say? Everybody going to be exposed. Goddamn, my boy. My boy. Who interviewed Cat Williams. What y'all think? I don't believe that he uh, did that because I think he would have jeopardized losing his job. But some people will say he was trying to cover up all those gay rumors. And that's why he leaked that sex tape out there or that sex conversation or that sex act talking about uh, my boy, Shannon, Shannon Sharp, Shay Shay. <laughs> 2024, y'all. But now, Jay, Jay Prince, I'm not going to subscribe to that. I'm not going to put that on Jay Prince. Okay. Going back to something you said, though, do you, do you um, think that, in fact, there is, like, tranquilizers in that baby oil that was mixed in? Something like that. I don't know what particular drug. I haven't listened to it, but that's something I heard. That it could be tranquilizers or like horse tranquilizers or stuff like that. Mixed in there. It's something of that nature. Something that either puts you out or something that makes you freaky or something. That's in there. It ain't just no fucking baby oil. <laughs> it ain't just baby oil. It's not illegal to have baby oil. Hey, come in your house right now and take all the Coca-Cola bottles that's in your house. All the soda pops in your mouth. They can't just take shit out of your house. They got to take stuff that, that's subject to the case. He could just like to, his people looking shiny. <laughs> Ain't that what bodybuilders body, body do? They put a white baby oil all on them and all that to look shiny. But it's not illegal, y'all, to have baby oil. But it's illegal to hide stuff inside that baby oil. And that's why you have a lot of that. Don't know what it is, John. <laughs> Don't know. Have no idea. You have to ask Gene Deal and Mark Curry what it is. <laughs> Since they seem to be the experts on that. Not me. <laughs>